Welcome to another Maths Challenge Junior Challenge from the UKMT, which I am now going to go through. At a holiday camp, the ratio of boys to girls is 3 to 4. In other words, for every three boys, you get four girls. And the ratio of girls to adults is 5 to 7. So for every five girls, you get seven adults. What is the ratio of children to adults at the camp? Now, I don't know about you, but that's kind of confusing. Because we've got this ratio of boys to girls of 3 to 4. And we have this other ratio of girls to adults of 5 to 7 seems to me like they're using different numbers it's like if the person was saying to me for every four girls there's three boys and for every five girls there's seven adults I'd be like why couldn't you have just said for every four girls there's this many adults or can you have picked a number where you can just say for a hundred girls there's this many boys for a hundred girls there's this many adults then I can compare the children to the adults that's what we need to do. We need to find the ratio of all the children, the boys and the girls, to the adults. But at the moment, the boys are in this currency of four girls, because there's three boys for every four girls, but the adults are in this currency of five girls. There's seven adults for every five girls. Why can't we just pick a number that they all have in common so we can start just speaking the same language? Here we have four girls equals three boys. Here we have five girls equals seven adults. If we could only pick some number that four and five both go into, then we'd be able to say, well, for this number of girls, you get this number of boys. For that same number of girls, you get this number of adults and then we can just say well get the boys and girls together and look at the adults and there's our ratio first we need to find a number which four goes into and which five goes into you might be wondering but won't that break the ratio this ratio is kind of special the three to four we can't just change it it's not allowed let me give you an example if I just double both sides for example if I call that instead of three to four if I call that 6 to 8, it's the same ratio because there's two lots of four girls and two lots of three girls. Remember we said for every four girls you get three boys. Well, that means for every eight girls, which is four and four, you get six boys, three and three. So as long as you do the same thing to both sides, you multiply it by the same number or divide it by the same number. Adding would ruin it. <laughs> we can't add, but we can times. Because it keeps the proportion the same. Then it's the same ratio. Okay, let's go back. What is that magic number that 4 goes into and 5 goes into so we can speak the same language? One way to find a number that they both go into is simply to multiply them. That always works. So for example, a number which 3 goes into and which 4 goes into would be 12. A number which 5 goes into and which 9 goes into would be 45. I mean, there are other numbers and sometimes smaller numbers, but a quick way to find a number that um, two numbers both go into is to multiply them. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 is our magic number number it's the way we can communicate between boys and girls and adults and we know what we're doing how would we get four though four girls here to become 20 girls not add but times times by five so we're going to times by five to both sides let's put that in purple it's really quite important we're going to times by 5 to so both sides of the ratio. 3 times by 5 is 15. 
4 times by 5 is our magic number 20. How do we get the 5 over here to be 20? We wouldn't times by 5 again, but we times by 4, because 5 times 4 is 20. We times by both sides. 5 times by 4 is 20, but 7 times by 4 is 28. You might be thinking, oh, that's a lot of hard work just to kind of get them to be the same number. But that's the crucial part of this question. Now we can compare boys and girls to adults. Before we had two different kinds of ratios. Now we're all talking about 20 girls. So 20 girls gets you 15 boys and 20 girls gets you 28 adults. So we have... We can write all the ratios in a nice neat pile now if you want. So boys, girls and adults would be 15. For every 15 of the boys, you get 20 of the girls. And with 20 of the girls, you get 28 of the adults. And just to double check, um, because my answer now would be perhaps 15 to 28 boys to adults which is here, D. But I need to read the question again, because it's the ratio of children to adults. The children are 15 and 20. 15 plus 20 is 35. So for every 35 children in total, you get 28 adults. So for every 35 children, you get 28 adults. You see all the children here was 15 and 20, and the adults were 28. You might be wondering, but that's not in the answer. That's not one of the, the answers. Remember how we could times by any number we want as long as we did it to both sides. We can divide by any number we want as long as we do it to both sides. These two numbers both have 7 in common. So if we divide by 7 to both sides, we get 35 divided by 7 is 5, and 28 divided by 7 is 4. And that would be the ratio of children to adults, which is 5 to 4.